with the exclusive video. Jory. Yeah, that's right. That bus ride was supposed to begin at 7 p.m. and end around 7.05. Here we are four hours later, just after 11 o'clock. Those passengers just left this gas station in Carson, 10 miles from where they were supposed to be, and the driver of that bus sits in the back of that Long Beach police cruiser. It was a wild and harrowing ride. It was supposed to be a night of terror, but not like this. A bus full of passengers on their way to a spooky night of fun at the Queen Mary thought they were being kidnapped when their bus was headed in the wrong direction and the driver wouldn't stop. He wasn't responding to anybody and I was like, we're getting kidnapped. We were all trying to get off the bus telling him to stop, let us off, he wouldn't stop. As the less than 10 minute drive from the Aquarium of the Pacific to the Queen Mary hit nearly 30 minutes and had entered the city of Carson, one passenger pled with the driver to stop. I'm talking to the door. Dude, this is a safety door. I told him straight up, I'm like, listen, at this point, it's kidnapping. You can't hold us like this. I stood up with him, and he just whipped around and nailed me in the stomach and knocked me back into a seat. That's when the panic set in, and people began to get off the bus however they could. People start opening up the windows, and everybody starts jumping out and clamoring and just wedging in like a panic. Finally, the bus driver opened the door and let the remaining passengers out. The sheriff's department showed up shortly after and took the driver into custody. So there is the bus. It remains on scene where the bus uh, driver finally brought it to a stop. I just asked him in the back of that police cruiser whether he knew people were asking whether uh, they wanted him to stop. He said he wanted to find a safe place to stop, but passengers say they asked him miles and hours ago, and it just did not happen. One of the passengers told me this began when the bus encountered a train parked on the tracks and the driver tried to find a way around it. Well, it was a long way around, 10 miles, and here we are four hours later, and those passengers just left. That driver will be spending the night in jail. We're live tonight in Carson. Jory Rand, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Jory, very strange story, and there's breaking news tonight. Hi, Jory. Yeah, hey, guys, we are literally in the thick of it all. A little past 11 o'clock. Things are supposed to be slowing down here at this hour, but take a look. It is not slowing down at all. Santa Monica Boulevard is still packed with party goers. It's been going on like this for hours, and it will continue well into the night. It's the biggest Halloween celebration in the world. It's nuts. I did not expect this many people. <laughs> Security was tight. Hundreds of sheriff's personnel on hand as tens, maybe hundreds of thousands, turning out in West Hollywood for the 31st annual Halloween Carnival. Remember, no justice, no fun. Carnival 2018. And I heard West Hollywood does not have enough queens, so I thought I'd come out and pay Well, thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> thank you. Among the biggest attractions this year was a four-legged astronaut named Carson. We're just having fun with him, and he's a surf dog, and he's doing agility, and we just brought him out here to have fun. The scariest costume of the year, at least here in L.A., went to this guy. It's a costume, but perhaps uh, too soon. Almost had it this year. We're close. We're yeah. close. And of course, politics were ever present. What are you? I'm the big blue wave that's coming this November. From Captain America stumping against the president. I feel that the current administration is against everything that he would stand for. To the newest member of the Supreme Court. I like beer. I still like beer. What's the reaction you've got with the, with the costume? 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> Some won't shake my hand. Something I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> kind of like the country. Right, right down the middle. All right, back here live. Politics continue here. We have Tish in her voter suppression booth. It took two weeks to put this together. Really, it is extravagant. Some of the costumes out here it takes weeks, sometimes even months, and there are kind of group costumes. It's it's really as uh, we saw from the space dog there. But amazingly, all of these people, hundreds of thousands, are going to be gone in just a few hours. They will have this back open to car traffic by 6 a.m. It's a work day tomorrow. But for now, the party continues. We are live in West Hollywood. Jory Rand, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Jory Rand, thank you very much. We have breaking news.